Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a story time of the time that I got bed bugs. I had an infestation in this very room. But guess what? They're all gone. I am bed bug free. Four years now, almost five. So let me go on with the story and start from the very beginning. So about four, I want to say four or five years ago, I was traveling so much. I mean, I mean, I still travel a lot, but I was traveling a lot for work, like to different places. And it was the first time I was shooting for this company and they had invited me over. Their studio was more of like a home base type of thing. And I think, this is alleged, I don't know 100% that that's where I got the bed bugs, but that's where I'm assuming I got it because I ended up discovering bed bugs right after I got back. Anyways, back to the story. So this was only like a 24 hour trip, not even maybe like 14 hour trip. My best friend had gone with me because she's kind of like my assistant um, when it comes to like shoots and things like that. And she was available. So we ended up going to um, shoot for this company in Louisiana. So we ended up flying out. We got a car, drove all the way to the studio. When we got there, I had just one carry-on luggage with me and I was already kind of full dressed hair and makeup. And we got to the place, the, it was like, like the dressing room was kind of like a room like this had you know all the clothes shoes and things like that as soon as i got there my mistake was i dumped my whole entire bag all on the floor all on the floor like i just dumped everything i had on the floor and that kind of like helped me look for what i needed that's my reasoning i don't know so after the shoot i just like threw everything back we were rushing to get to the airport because our flight was that night so we drove back to the airport and flew back home as soon as I got home I ended up just leaving my carry-on at the door like right I know I think I like brought it in like set it by my closet or something like that and I just fell asleep I took off my makeup I didn't shower but I just changed my clothes and fell asleep about the next morning or a day from that I ended up waking up with these little bite marks on my arm and they were like in a trail I thought it was so weird and at the time I was sleeping with my dog he passed away sadly but at the time I was sleeping with him so I thought that maybe it was my dog's fleas or something maybe my dog had just gotten fleas because I didn't understand why I had those like bites. Um, so I was kind of blaming my dog, <laughs> sorry. So I would take him a shower. Um, I ended up putting like little flea and tick serum on him to help him remove his fleas, everything like that. And changed my bed sheets, showered everything, the nine yards. The next day slept again, I had more bites so frustrating but I couldn't find a solution to it I had no idea where they were coming from like I, I had no idea so one day I think I was just getting ready for work and I had this throw blanket on my bed all of a sudden I look really close to it and I see a bug if you're scared of bugs don't look at the next photo skip ahead <laughs> but this is the picture of the bug that I found it was on my blanket and I'm like what is that I'm like I've never in my life seen a bug like that fleas don't look like that I don't even know what other bugs <laughs> I've ever had in my room but fleas don't look like that so I'm like okay maybe that's what's been picking me and it's like little butt look red so I'm like oh my god it has been picking me because that's blood I ended up killing it and of course it squirted out all my blood and it freaked me out I'm like okay so maybe that's what it is but I couldn't figure out the bug so while I was at work couldn't figure out what it was on my way back home I ended up googling like at home bugs bugs in your home or something like that and bed bugs came up and I'm like bed bugs why would I have bed bugs 
but I looked at like there was like a photo of like the lifestyle life cycle of a bed bug and I saw it and I'm like oh my god that's what it is that's what it is it okay there's one thing about me I'm hella dramatic hella dramatic so I was like I am burning my place down I'm like I don't want to be in my room ever again I slept in the living room for at least a couple weeks I want to say like two three weeks I slept in my room because I didn't know what to do with myself I literally quarantined myself out of the like I quarantined my room so I started googling what to do you're supposed to fumigate you're supposed to you know all these things so I was like okay maybe I should try that I tried fumigating as much as I thought was good for that problem or you're supposed to like heat up the room but regardless I was like I'm not gonna heat up my room and ruin everything so I ended up fumigating and washing everything went back into my bed so happy I was like I am clear I am bed bug free I beat him Wendy one bed bug zero but everything was good for like maybe I want to say two three days everything was good and I thought everything was gonna be good I was so excited bed bug free finally and then just like a couple days I want to say like a week passed by and they were woke they started picking me up picking me up they started picking me again I am literally haunted by these things so I was hanging out with my friend and we were just talking on my bed and something kind of made me look at the bed frame and you see how my bed here has like these little quilted things and there's like indents in the middle um well my old bed frame was cream color and it had the exact same things but a little bit more like deep set and i don't know why i looked into one and it was literally like three bed bugs in one of those little things I literally freaked out. I started yelling. I was like, ah! I was like, bed bugs, they're back, they're gonna kill me. Hella dramatic, dramatic 2.0. I was ready. I was like, they got my room, they won, I'm done. <sighs> so this time, I was not gonna fumigate. I was not, like, it didn't work. So I had to just get rid of everything. Like, when I say I got rid of everything, I got rid of everything like that is the main reason why my room had like a huge transformation <sighs> I got rid of you know my cabinets things my little shelving my bed frame my bed everything I got rid of everything and that's when I decided well my room needs a remodel so I ended up remodeling it but I ended up taking everything out my room was bare cleared everything out heated up as much as I could the areas that I did have, washed the, the clothes I did have in scalding hot water, um, and everything else furniture-wise was getting replaced because no, no, not keeping anything behind, not taking any chances. And while I had left it outside, I had asked my dad if he can, you know, check out the, the bed frame. So he opened up the headboard guys there was like an infestation in the back of my headboard no joke there were so many bed bugs like the whole freaking generation of bed bugs were all like it was disgusting I don't even know how to describe it it was so disgusting there were so many bed bugs so many I was just gross the hell out that I was sleeping in close proximity to that and of course got rid of that thing I wanted to burn it but got rid of it got rid of everything and I think that ultimately did the trick to getting rid of those suckers because they have never come back and I have learned my lesson now every time I travel and this is like set in stone every time I travel I leave my carry-on in the garage or I leave it out of my room and I wash all the clothes in, in my carry-on in my luggage. Even if I didn't wear it, I wash it and I clean everything thoroughly before I bring it into my room. Also, I take a shower anytime I get back from traveling, non-negotiable. I take a shower before I go to bed. 
And then of course I wash my sheets before I leave, but I'm super clean now when it comes to traveling because I'm never dealing with that ever again, ever, 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 ever again. And hopefully you won't have to either after watching my video and just kind of seeing the signs. Also, note to self, I had like brown sheets back then, so I can never really tell if I had bed bugs because they do say like a sign is like if you see like little like splatters of blood in your bed, then you're kind of like ro <laughs> rolling over and squishing them so you know you have bed bugs. But I had a brown bed, so I couldn't really tell. And then I had like a black like um, comforter so I could never tell now guess who has white bed sheets so that she can easily tell <laughs> if there's a <laughs> flood regardless I'm never dealing with that again and hopefully you learned a thing or two from this video and um, yeah thank you for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video bed book free